Hey guys, Kevin here with Mixed Coach. Do you mind if I show you something that I have forgotten about that I actually love about Melodyne? Every now and then you'll get a, a singer who's very dynamic and you don't really want to just clamp a compressor on them. You, you want to make it sound a little bit more smoother. Maybe you've got a, an acoustic bass guitar. They're notorious for having certain notes that sing out above other notes. Uh, like uh, you'll have a D string that will ring louder than the G string. Uh, I'm going to show you a solution for that, okay? You don't have to, it's just this plugin working, okay? Uh, this is a artist that uh, we are mixing this month on Mix Coach Member. Her name is Holly Winter. She's amazing. This uh, track was actually cut at Omni uh, Studios here in Nashville with some of the world's best players, honestly. And Holly is really a world-class singer, but this is her scratch vocal. We, she's coming in here in the next uh, week or so to do some official vocals on this. So I thought I would show you what you can do to your vocals, or maybe you don't have a vocalist that's, or a band that's quite as good as this. Maybe you're working on, you know, improving your, your band a little bit. Let me show you a couple things that you can do to help improve that, okay? So first of all, I'm down here on the vocal track. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to add Melodyne. Now, I've already had Melodyne going here, so it's probably going to analyze it pretty quick. So there's her vocal right there. And then what I want to do also is I want to I want to duplicate this track just so I can show you kind of what Melodyne is actually doing behind the scenes. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to duplicate this track here, her vocal track. I'm going to duplicate everything about it. Then I'm going to just take Melodyne off of this track. So you can see the before and after. You see how dynamic her vocal is? I mean, this is the before the verse starts and then her verse is really kind of low. And then she gets into this chorus and she's really, she's really belting a little bit. And then toward the end. Well, what if I wanted to just kind of contain that a little bit? So what I'm going to do is go into Melodyne by clicking Melodyne. And I'm going to go to this uh, macro here, this uh, note leveling macro. It's something that I've honestly forgotten about, but it's just amazing what it can do. Well, you can take this macro and you can make the quiet notes louder. And you can make the loud notes quieter. So it, that's like adding a compressor, but it's actually compressing every particular, every note that you hear. And it's not, a, it's not dependent on how the compressor sounds. It's a very transparent sound. So what I've done is I've uh, increased her low, low notes by 50%, and I've decreased her loud notes by, well, you know what I need to do? I need to select all of her, all of her notes. That's the first thing you need to do. I forgot to, forgot to do that. Okay, so now you, you'll be able to see what's going on here. So if I make her quiet notes louder, you can see that her notes got louder. And if I take her loud notes down, you can see that, I've added the world's best compressor just there. I'm gonna commit this real quick to so that you can see what's going on here. So I'll right click here and I'll hit commit. And what this will do is it'll show you how it brings down the dynamics and evens everything out. This is the unaffected track here on the bottom and the one right above it is the one that Melodyne is actually currently working on. So then I'll probably undo it. We'll go back and we'll actually listen to the results because this is a really cool song. It's a song that she and I wrote together uh, a few years ago and then we cut it at the Mixed Coach Experience Weekend, which is a weekend that I do from time to time where I get people to come to Nashville and then we'll sit in the studio for a day or two and then we'll do some mixes and talk about the uh, mixing and studios and, and we'll have good food here in Nashville. So if you're interested in doing that, just sign up to my uh, email list. Just to download that uh, building block below this, and I will let you know, okay? All right, so now we are looking at, look how much less dynamic her vocal is. Let me kind of even up the size here. You can see that uh, her loud notes are a little softer, and her soft notes are a little louder. So look, now we'll, we'll be able to compare before and after. Let's go here where uh, the end of the verse where she's soft and then she gets loud. And we're going to listen to the before first, okay? So this is the last line of the verse and the first line of the chorus. Okay, and then we'll listen to the after. This is the last line of the channel, or the verse, and the first line of the verse, of course. All 
I mean, it, it's a subtle thing, and she didn't need it that bad, uh, but it's a scratch vocal that we're working with, so I'll take anything I can get. Uh, so I'll show you one more thing here. Now, this is the bass player. I'm just going to uh, put Melodyne on him real quick. And not that this bass player needs it. He's a phenomenal bass player. His name is Gary Lunn. He's amazing. Um, and it, you can see that how even all of his notes are. They're like super even, but maybe your bass player is not this even, okay? Maybe you need to, maybe this is one of those bass players that, you know, Gary's playing with a pick here, but and hit, every note is consistent, and this is why he's one of the world's best, is he's so consistent, and it makes guys like me who mix his stuff really glad that I picked him to, to play on this. So what if your bass player is more inconsistent with a pick? This is a great time to uh, grab his bass, track, throw it on Melodyne, select all the tracks just like this, uh, select all the notes just like this. And if you want more note separation, what you can do is go to this tool here. Sorry about that. Uh, you can hit this tool here, click it, and then right here where the note separation is, you can actually separate more or less notes like this. So it's like, um, uh, you know, this, probably more notes the better. Uh, and then once you get the notes separated, you can just turn that off, and then you're back to uh, where where you were. So what we can do is now go to the macro on the notes here, and go to the note leveling macro, and we can do the same thing. We can pull up his, and you can do it while you're listening to it, but it's kind of hard for me to hear me talking over the music. But you can see that you can actually pull up his low notes, which, you know, Gary's a great player. There's not any low notes. It's really consistent. But try this on your bass player, and especially try it on a um, try it on an acoustic bass player. Uh, those uh, those bass old basses they sound so good, but sometimes you get a loud note while one string will ring louder than the other. And there's uh, you can use uh, a plugin like uh, Bass Rider from Waves, or you can use this. And this is honestly, I just forgot about this, and I'm. Glad I remembered it, and I thought I would just let you know about it, okay? Hey, uh, I've got a free resource for you. It's called Building Blocks. If you just go to mixcoach.com forward slash building dash blocks, or just click, click the link in the description below, I'll give you that resource. It's, uh, it's uh, seven of my favorite building blocks where you can become a better mixer. And also, I'll let you know when this vocal production course uh, makes uh, makes it out. Okay. All right. Thanks for tuning in with me today. It's good to be here with you. And, um, if you're interested in mixed coach member, go to mixcoachmember.com and I will see you soon. Okay. Bye.